Hi, in this tutorial we are going to talk about the ink tool. Before I start that I want to show you a keyboard shortcut. When you hold down your shift key you get this straight line and you can paint straight lines like that. This uh, shortcut is available in the other paint tools here, your brush tool, pencil tool, eraser tool, airbrush tool and some of the other tools here. So it's shared between them, you can use it with them too to paint straight lines. Now about the ink tool, this tool simulates an uh, ink pen and it's kind of difficult to master and you'll see that I'll explain all the options here but you need to experiment a little on your own to gain control of how this tool actually works. Now the first option is here, mold and opacity, we already talked about that. Here we have adjustment options. The first one is the size. Let's make a stroke here. You see the size of the nib. Now if we increase that, it gets really big. If we decrease it, it gets really small. Let's refresh these options. Now the next one, the angle, controls the apparent angle of the pen's nib relative to the horizontal. Let's try that. You see here it's kind of difficult to see the difference. Now we have a little bit different result. Now the next options here are regarding the sensitivity. Again the size here controls the uh, size of the nips uh, from uh, minimum to maximum. You see how much more ink we are building up if we increase the size. Now the next option tilt controls the apparent tilt of the nip relative to horizontal. You see how that changes. And the speed here uh, that controls the size of the nip as we are drawing. So the faster we draw, the narrow the line becomes. Let's see that. Now here we have uh, different types of uh, nibs. We have a square, a circle, what we are using right now. Let's reset these options. We have a square, also a diamond. And here shape controls the geometry of the nib and you can adjust it by holding down this button and move it around and you see how that affects our nib you can refresh that go to the circle here you see how that affects our nib so this basically are all the options here for the ink tool and like i said this tool is kind of more difficult to master you need to play around with it a little to see if you can use it in your work that's it for now bye